Warning, this is a live test. You must know how to use a voltmeter before trying to check for voltages. Make sure that you grab the test probes by the insulators and that your body doesn't touch the dryer at all while doing this test. Assuming that you know how to use your voltmeter, let me show you how to check the voltages. Disconnect the dryer from the wall outlet. Set your multimeter to read higher than 240 AC volts. Take a reading between these two terminals. The reading should be close to 120 AC volts. Take a reading between these two terminals. The reading should be close to 120 AC volts. Take a reading between these two terminals. The reading should be about 240 AC volts. If the voltage check OK in the wall outlet, then the problem has to be in the dryer. If the voltage don't check OK in the wall outlet, the problem could be a blown fuse, a trip circle breaker, or a bad wall outlet. If the problem is bigger than that, you need to get an electrician to take care of it. With the dryer disconnected from the wall outlet, remove the terminal block cover. Make sure that your multimeter is set up to read higher than 240 AC volts. Connect the dryer to the wall outlet. Take a reading between these two terminals. The reading should be about 240 AC volts. Take a reading between these two terminals. The reading should be about 120 AC volts. Take a reading between these two terminals. The reading should be about 120 AC volts. If the voltage is check OK, then the problem has to be in the dryer. If the voltage is don't check OK, the problem could be a blown fuse, a trip circle breaker, a bad wall outlet, or a bad power cord. For the best place to buy replacement parts online, visit Repair Clinic. Repair Clinic will give you 365 days to decide if you want to keep the part or not. If you don't want to keep it, you could return it for a full refund or for a replacement of the part. You could check for the links to Repair Clinic on my website.